A hero exists inside each one of us, and it's up to you to adopt the mindset to begin seeing that you have greatness within you, and that the greater the challenge you are facing today, the greater your story will be. When I was a kid, my dream was to make it to the X Games to ride freestyle motocross. Every day I pursued that just by riding in the backyard field, and when I was 23 years old, I finally had the opportunity to perform my first jump show ever, and it was like all, all of my dreams came true. I jumped in front of a crowd. I was in a magazine with my sponsor, and I felt like I'd given him my all. It was the best I could be, and that I could literally die happy. Two weeks later, I attended another event in Halliburton, Ontario. And as soon as I hit the ramp, the very first jump of the day, I knew something wasn't right. I flew 75 feet from steel to steel, landed without the motorcycle, broke my back, my pelvis, and my ribs, and I was instantly paralyzed. There's a twist. My father was also paralyzed four years before I was. My dad not only became very depressed, but he developed a gambling addiction. And then seven weeks later, my dad took his own life. And in the moments where I felt like giving up as well, because I felt like doing the same thing as my dad, what I said to myself was, I don't want that to be the ending to my story. And the final chapter has not been written yet. Going back to the day my dad fell from the tree, to me breaking my back, to becoming an elite athlete, when I look back at what has helped me succeed today, I believe there's three strong key principles that you can also take home and apply in your own life to be the hero of your own movie. Number one is to accept responsibility. It was incredible. All of his key points and key takeaways fit so well within our theme. Um, but also it was just incredible hearing his own story because it's so relatable to everyone in life. You may not be responsible for what happens in your life, but you're always responsible for what you do about it. Becoming negative and cynical and pessimistic about the situation, you'll never see that other side. I tend to work with companies that are going through some degree of either internal or external change. You know, maybe the regulations have forced them to become more compliant and they're not used to that. Or internally, a lot of people have shifted around and there's new roles and responsibilities. Either way, there's always an opportunity there to look at that change and embrace it rather than be fearful as if it's something that's going to defeat you and you have no way through that. But it's in that moment, that's your hero moment, when you ask yourself, how can I look at this situation differently? What do I need to do? Who do I need to call? You start taking some steps when you felt like giving up and all of a sudden your calendar does start filling up again. All of a sudden, you do start getting some new bookings. You build some new relationships with some new partners, and they start feeding you business and vice versa. And all of a sudden, your sales are starting to turn back around. You're getting back up on top, and that's the real movie. That can't happen. You can do that. But it starts in those moments when you feel like giving up. He's such an inspiration, and I loved how real he was about his experience. It is a really powerful story. Start to view the challenges that are in front of you, not as obstacles, but as opportunities. That no matter what happens to you, no matter where you are in your life, that you've always got another option. Accept responsibility for your own life. Stop playing the victim role. Start owning your life, the decisions you make, and where you want to go. And as soon as you do that, everything will change.